impossible. Senate passed a bill for punishment on any woman caught beating her husband without any tangible reasons. This will shock you. All right, my people. I greet all of you. No be small matter. Yes, so now Senate now passed this very bill. Um, there is a reason for this very uh, action taken by the Senate. Um, a former senator by name Shewu Sani, you all know him. He was the one that brought this very information of how a woman actually attacked her husband to the extent of cutting off his penis for waiting up on now. This happened um, in Kaduna State. In Kaduna. So because of this, for, for this not to um, happen continuously, because now waiting women, they do right now. No, no matter what a man do, whether he cheat on you or anything, you no get that right to say you they attack in penis for waiting now. Now in life be that now. So that is why the Senate has passed this very bill as a punishment for any woman caught doing that kind of a thing. Let's take the content. This is today's news. In a recent development that has left many stunned, She Sani, a prominent politician and former senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria from Kaduna, has spoken out about the distressing news involving a woman severing her husband's manhood just four months into their marriage. Expressing his disbelief and concern, Sani compared his reaction on X, formerly known as Twitter, as cited by the latest on the squad news blog. He emphasized the gravity of the situation, labeling the act as a significant crime against humanity. The incident involved around a woman named Habiba Ibrahim, who allegedly carried out the gruesome act on her 40 year old husband, Salisu Idris while he was asleep. The shocking event unfolded on May 26th, marking only four months into the couple's union. According to accounts from Daily Trust, Idris, a commercial motorcycle rider residing in Kodan, Kaduna State, recounted the harrowing experience of waking up to his wife's sudden assault with a sharp knife, narrowly escaping a complete severance of his manhood. The victim, Idris, was promptly rushed to the hospital, initially to the facility in Kudan and later to the General Hospital Kafarifi, before, before being transferred to the Ahmad Belo University Teaching Hospital in Zaria for urgent medical attention. Doctor at the hospital undertook extensive efforts to save his life amid the transmatic audio. In an interview, Idris expressed his primary concern for his health and well-being, revealing apprehension about the prospect of remarriage following the traumatic incident. The mother of the victim, Rabi Salisu, disclosed that the family of the accused wife expressed deep concern and willingness to cover the medical expenses incurred by Idris. Hmm. This one, not evil wife. Oh. Not evil wife. Chai, my people. God, no go let person marry bad wife. Oh. What, what must have prompted this woman to do what she did? Even if the man has cheated on her, to me, I say is evil and devilish. The devil has taken a charge of her. Yes, that's what we call it. That's taking a charge of her. Because if she has not been taken by the devil, then she, she she's not supposed to have done what she did. Okay, now what if this man now now passed out? What will she say? Where where, where will she be? Jail for life. And that's where she'll be and die. That's where she'll stay and die. For life. Okay, I don't talk my own, my people. 
Um, all right, let's quickly, as a matter of fact, let's hear from you on this matter and then let's know what your take is. Don't forget to leave your comment below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well. Ask the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you. Thank you. 